Let's see if this actually works in here. All right, let's get this off. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Tech Talk Tuesday. My name is Rob Bazzera with Social Network Professionals, and I am so happy you guys are joining us today. It is actually going to be really kind of cool. Um, I had some, actually, I've got some really cool stuff to show you today. Um, I had something really, really cool. I am in working with the actual developer of the software right now to change a couple things and to work out a couple things that aren't working right now. Um, so I wanted to really show you that one today, but I think I'm going to have to wait until next week to actually show you that one. But we have some really cool stuff for you guys anyway. Um, so one thing that, that, that I love, right, is automation. If you guys are jumping on right now, drop me a, drop me a live. If you're jumping on in the replay, just drop the replay in there. I see we got um, Wilma, we've got Nareel in there, we've got a couple other people. If you guys are in there, just drop, in, uh, drop a note and say hi. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. It has been just a phenomenal week. Oh man, it's been a phenomenal week and it's only Tuesday already, right? But it is, it just, it's, it's, it is that good. Um, give me one that, second here, uh, I gotta just change something. If you guys can hear me okay, just let me know everybody can hear me and, um, and we'll, we'll, get, we'll get rolling here. So here's the thing, automation, right? Certain things in life, it is easier if they're automated for you. Um, one of the things that I love is is automation. Stuff that's done for me that I don't have to worry about, I'm, I'm all over that. Um, obviously, right, when you use software that, that does things for you, sometimes it's not free, right? Unfortunately, some things are free, some things aren't. Um, and it's just the just nature of the beach, right? Everything can't be free. Um, certain softwares that, that you have to use. So we use a combination of things that are free and things that aren't free. Um, so what I'm going to do is let me talk about a couple of different things that, that we actually use. Let me show you what they are, and, um, and we can kind of get into some, some questions in there. So if you guys have any questions at all at any time, obviously, drop me a... I'm just looking at comments up here. Just drop me a, drop me a question there, um, and I will do my best to answer them. I don't see the comments all the time, um, so just bear with me if, if you don't see them. Um, I've got two windows going. I don't see them in one, but I do see them in the other. So... Um, okay, that being said, uh, I'm going to start with, with a couple things that maybe not everybody wants first, but then I'll go into stuff that I know you do want because I want you guys to stick around. Um, trust me, you're going to want to watch this one for a little while because there's some cool stuff that I know you guys will love. Um, so the very first thing, this is for if you run a group, right? I don't know if anybody has a Facebook group, anybody is running a Facebook group. If you are, um, just, just drop me a note and just say, hey, I'm, I'm, I've got a group. You know what, even drop, drop your link in there too. Um, now this is not your page, this is a group. If you have your own Facebook group, and that could be with people if you're selling product, right? Put, put those people in a group so you can talk to them or whatnot. But if you have a group, right? Here's a great extension for you. Um, you may have noticed when you came into our group, right? You had to put your email address in there and there's also three questions that, um, that we had you ask. Well, Facebook doesn't give us a way to actually capture that information, right? Um, but it's useful information because it does three things for us, right? First thing it does, it gives us your email address, which allows us to market to you. The second thing it does is that it gives us, the other two questions in there are, are what are your struggles that you have right now, right? And what do you want to improve? So what that does, it gives us two other ways right now to talk that, that we know that, that these are pain points of people coming in. So what that does for us is that it allows us to tailor our trainings and, and the things that, that you guys want to learn towards that, right? It's no sense... If, if you guys don't want to know about certain things, no sense us teaching you, right? So, um, so that's that, that's the, that's the big thing right there. And the other thing is is that because we know that about you now, right? We immediately can can start establishing a, a better rapport with you. If I know that that you're struggling with, hey, I'm really having issues with with talking with people on Messenger, right? If you come into my group and I could say, hey, who's on the call right now? Let's say, hey, Ed, I know you're having issues with with people talking to people with Messenger. We can definitely do a training on that. Uh, so it gives us ideas on, on kind of what to do our, our training on, right? So it's really, really cool. It's very powerful. And the way you said to do that is when it comes up, people ask, So let me show you a quick example. You used to have, basically have to capture that information by hand, right? Put in a spreadsheet or, or do whatever. Um, it's hugely and highly, highly valuable information. So let me show you just a quick second about what I mean here. So let me bring up my monitor. Okay. So here is... Here's one of the groups I have. I have, uh, I don't even know how many groups. I've got a bunch of groups. So um, here's one of them I have right here. Um, and you can see there's 234 people that are ready to come into this group, right? Now, what I do with these people is I ask them questions. Um, this is a buy, sell, trade group that I happen to run. Um, I ask them a bunch of questions um, to try to get 
to try to get some an, an affiliate commission, right? It's an easy, easy way for me to get an affiliate commission. Um, we use Instacart all the time. So what I do is this is a buy sell trade group that I have. I think there's 20,000 people in here right now. I probably get a hundred people that request access in here every single day. So what I do is I, I put them through some, I get them, um, I basically walk them through three questions, right? And I'm in this particular group, <clears throat> excuse me, in this particular group, I'm pushing Instacart. Instacart has a $10, um, a ten dollar referral program. So I give them $10 and they give me $10. So it kind of works out kind of cool. So I just ask them right up front, have you heard of Instacart? If no, here's a link for you to go sign up. And you know what, if you're interested, give me your email address. Um, so there's another, another um, program that I, that I deal with that helps you lower your bills. Um, so what I do is, is basically if they say yes in there, I will go ahead and kick off an email to them to talk about um, that, that particular product. So you can see in here, a lot of people aren't interested, a lot of people aren't interested, but you know what, look, I have 200 and something people, 236 people that want to go through this. I don't want to sit here and go through all these all by itself, right? So this is the coolest thing. We have this little app right here called Groups Pro, right? I can just come in here and I can set up my groups to say which one do I want them to monitor, which one do I basically want them to keep an eye on. And then what this thing actually does when I click this, this is the coolest part. It basically just says I can either have people that that is everybody. I can have people that have just answered um, all three questions that they have, and I can leave them in there, or I can even validate them off something else, which is a little deep right now. But I want to let everybody in right now, so I'm just going to go all members, hit start approving, and what this thing does, this is going to kind of go through its thing, and it's going to go ahead and let me put this back here. So what that's going to do now, that thing is just going to go and run. It's going to find every person, capture information, store it into a Google Sheet for me, right? And then go on to the next person. And it does all this stuff in the background so I don't have to worry about it, which is awesome because now that, okay, I have 200 some people. I want to go through and actually figure out what all those things are and, and how can I use that. Now I have to catch that. This does it all for me, puts it in a Google Sheet. And I, it, not only that, it talks to um, Aweber or any one of my um, email things and I could kick it, emails kicked off. It's just, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome thing to automate stuff. Um, if you have a group, it's absolutely fantastic. I would say that this is a must have if you have a group. Um, if you have a group, get people in there. This is the way, this is totally the way to capture that data. So, um, so that's my first thing. Groups Pro, absolutely fantastic. Um, and let me do this. I will drop a link. And it's actually just a, it's a, it's a Chrome plugin. So it is, um, it is cool. Let me do this. Uh, crap. I want to actually, you know what? I'll tell you what, I'll put a link for everything once we're done with it, once we're done in here. Um, that way, that way we can, we can get all, all at once. Um, okay. So that was the first one. Any questions with that? Let me look up here quick. Hey Gary. Hey Ed. Hey Gracie. Gris I'm, I'm going to murder your name and I apologize. Gracella, Gracila, if that's not right, please let me know. Um, I don't like getting people's names wrong. So if I, if it is wrong, please correct me. And, um, and I'll make sure make sure we get it right. So, okay, so that was the first one. Um, may not apply to everybody. If you have a group, it definitely applies to you. So, um, hugely, definitely take advantage of it. Second thing, this one is actually really cool. Um, there's an app called Friend or Foe, and what this does is, if you guys notice, you probably have been getting a lot of friend requests, right? Um, I get, look, I mean, look at all the here. I'll, I'll show you all my friend requests I get. Like, just they keep going, right? I think I have, I don't even know how many I have sitting in here right now. Um, but I get a ton, a ton, a ton of friend requests. So one of the things is, oh, you know what, I was actually, <laughs> let me do this. Let me show you my friend request. This will actually be better. Okay, so here are all my friend requests, right? I mean, they just keep going. I get, I can't even tell you how many I get every day. I get, I get tons. Um, if you guys are new to the space, you probably are getting some as well. Um, my bet is that you're probably getting a lot. And it's just kind of, um, it's kind of the nature of the business. When you're in the business we're in, right? Marketers, marketers like to target other marketers. Um, so what they're gonna do, they're gonna come to you, they'll friend request you, and they'll eventually try to get you on a chat or whatever, which is totally fine. It's actually not a bad thing because of the fact that, you know, watch what they do. You'll find really, really good ones. Um, if you get talking with somebody, you know, look at what they do, look at how they talk to you and, and see if they get you on a chat. Anyway, the point is that you need to do something with these friend requests, right? So what happens with Facebook is if you don't answer the friend requests after a certain period of time, and I don't know what exactly that period is, they'll actually turn to followers, right? 
followers is not a bad thing, right? All it does is just grow people to follow you. It will actually help you reach a little bit, but they just follow you and it's absolutely fine if you just ignore them. Um, you're actually better off doing that than just deleting them just because of the fact that Facebook doesn't mind followers, right? It's, it's not a bad thing. And like I said, it will definitely increase your reach. Now, the point of this thing is you don't want to have to worry about going after all these friend requests, right? Most of the people, most of them are just creepers. A lot of them are bots, a lot of them are spam, but there actually are some valuable people in there. And you want to be able to find them. Um, what friend or foe does, and that's that's another plugin that, that I use. Um, friend or foe will basically run once an hour or once however much you set it up, but I have it set up for once an hour, it'll start working through your friends list. It'll go ahead and send out a message to them and say, hey, so-and-so, I appreciate you for my friend or giving me, sending me a friend request. How do you know me? Why are you sending me this friend request? How do we know each other? Um, because of the fact that I get so many, I wanna make sure that I'm only connecting with people that are that are valuable, right? Um, and so that they send you a friend request, that message get, gets kicked off, and now you immediately establish a connection with them, right? By saying, hey man, thank you so much for, for friend requesting me. Tell me about how, like, how do I know you? Obviously, if it's somebody you know, you can just go ahead and accept the friend request. Otherwise, this app will go ahead and just send them a message, say, hey, how do I know you? Let's connect a little bit. Um, and what's awesome about that is that is that all the friend requests now, I don't have to worry about, right? They just leave. Anybody that actually wants to contact me, like is interested, they will go ahead and get back to me. And then I can actually evaluate them and say, okay, yeah, you know what? I want to add you on our friends list. Or, may I, you know what? It's good. We're not a fit. I don't, you're not really... I don't want to be friends with you, and that's, that's totally fine. Um, again, just leave them off and, and let them be a follower. The point is that what's really cool is that is twofold. Um, this is one of the ones that that I pay for. It's 17 bucks or 20. I think when I first got, it, I think it was 17. I think it's 20, 25 bucks a month or something like that now. Um, but this is a really cool thing. So let me show you this. Um, there's a little. I'm going to share my screen again real quick. So here's the plugin right here. Right? Is this little friend or foe thing? So. What I have is I have this message right here, right? This message basically just says, hey there, I appreciate the friend request. I've been screening incoming requests due to the increased spamming in bots. And I know what you're thinking as well. Um, we can't be too careful. And since I get a ton of requests, I have no way to automate this. I was able to do it through this extension. Um, in the meantime, come over, hang out in my group. Because anybody has friend requests in me, I go in groups, I do a bunch of stuff. So the people that friend request me are people that I want friending, that, that know me, that they don't know me, they know who I am. Um, they're trying to either sell me something or they're actually in my network somehow that they're one of my target. They're, they're basically living in my avatar, right? Because those are the groups I'm visiting, that's how they're, that's how they're finding me. Um, so I try to get them into my group. And then what I do is I say, hey, you know what? If your friend is requesting me, there's a good chance you're getting a bunch of friend requests. Um, how would you like to be able to send this message automatically as well? And I give them this little link right here. And this link, because I pay for this, they have an affiliate program. So this link, I'm an affiliate of, right? I'm an affiliate of friend or foe. So anybody that goes through this, sees this, clicks it, and then signs up, I get a commission on, right? It's very simple. I make money on this without having to do anything. All I have to do is get friend requests. Um, and this essentially takes care of itself. Now, what I do is I've had people come to me and say, what is this app you're doing? And I just tell you, hey, it's called Friend or Foe. Go right here. Sign up. There's a whole video explains explains exactly, exactly what it does. Um, cool. All right. So the really cool thing is, is, that, is that because of that, now I catch a little, a little bit of, of residual income on that uh, just, just as, a, as an affiliate. So it's an awesome, awesome way um, for you guys to, to basically use. And I know it is an expense, but it's one of those things. It's an expense to... to it's, an, it's a business expense. For me, I don't have to deal with going through my friend request. This is worth it for me for 17 bucks a month. Um, and I, again, I think, I think now it's 25. Even at 25, 25 bucks for, for a month, for 30 days, it's a dollar a day. It's less than a dollar a day. For a dollar a day, I, I will pay somebody to go through my friend request and message them and have the possibility to, to get me extra money. Um, so that's why I use this extension. This one here, I've been using this now for I think it came out about three weeks ago, and it is—it's one of my favorite extensions. Um, so that's that—that's that, the other one that I use. Um, there is another one that I wanted to show you guys, and like I said, it, it, there's some changes being done to it. I've been contacting with the vendor or with the um, the developer, and I'm not ready to show it to you guys yet. It's—it was the one that was showing uh, that was doing those comments automatically. 
like that's the coolest extension ever. And it was just, it was so cool. Like he showed me that thing. And I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. Um, so I really had to play with it and we've been chatting. So I was, I've been trying to get with him the last couple of days. He's the, just been, been not out, out of communicado. So unfortunately I can't, I can't show you that one yet, but I promise as soon as I talk with him and as soon as he makes it available to me, I will be showing that to you guys because of the fact that one is one I think that you guys will absolutely love. Um, but so let me ask, does anybody have any, any questions? Is it good? Is it anything that is like, holy crap, that was awesome. Help me out. Tell me, drop me a, drop me a comment. Just something. Let me know. Let me know if, if that makes sense. If, if those, do you want me to go in any deeper in, in, into those two things at all? Um, and actually, let me do this too. Let me send you guys some links for what these are. Oops. Um, okay. Okay, cool. All right, I will be shooting some links up here in a minute. Um, cool. All right. So that being said, it's Tuesday. It's Tech Talk Tuesday. I did my little my, my little spiel. So what can I help you guys with? I think Ed, you had a comment or a question the other day. Um, let's let's actually let's back up one second here before I jump forward. Does anybody have any question on those extensions? Um, if not, I'll move on to something else real quick. So I think we're good. Okay. Cool. Good. good. All right. All right. Good. Um, Ed had a question on how to do, what is it, hang on a minute, I'm just gonna find this real quick, here we go, okay, uh, how to put caption to a Facebook Live. Um, so Facebook actually had an option for this and I was playing around with it the other day to actually do live comments um, while you're doing a Facebook Live, to actually have the, um, uh, the closed caption actually streaming and for some reason that option is not here anymore. Um, <laughs> so Ed, that option is no longer available apparently. Uh, it used to be, I mean, it was literally right in here. Um, because I actually, I tested it out last weekend. It was actually really kind of cool, but apparently it's not here anymore. Um, hmm, okay. Let me do a little bit more investigation on that and figure out, figure out where that went to, uh, because that was actually kind of cool. Uh, but I can definitely find that out for you for sure. Um, okay. Anybody else have any questions? Anybody else I can help out? So, not that lively of crew today. Hey, drop me some hearts, drop me some love. Let me know you guys are are with me here. Are you guys around? Anything else I can help you guys with? So, um, but those are the two extensions um, that we have going on right now. And here are the links for this one. I am just, I am link challenged here today, guys. I apologize. Here we go. Okay. So here are the links. This one here is for Groups Pro. And this one here is for Friend or Foe. And the cool thing is, is that if you guys sign up, Groups Pro right now is free. Um, you can grab it from the Chrome store. I know for a fact that you will be charging for it moving forward, probably within the next couple weeks. So. Um, that being said, you may want to grab it and check it out if it's something you can use. Uh, friend or foe, definitely check that out. The cool thing is, is as soon as, if it's something um, you could sign up with, they have a 14-day free trial. Um, sign up for the free trial, which is really cool. Sign up for the affiliate program with them, which is cool. And then immediately you can start getting money um, from basically friend requests, right? And uh, that's the coolest thing is that you don't have to do anything. It's literally you set up and just hit go. And that's it. You get one person or two people to buy it. You've got you basically have taken care of of what your monthly cost is. Um, and always think about that too, especially with with anything that that costs you money f like like this, right? Um, I use ClickFunnels for example. ClickFunnels is three hundred bucks a month, um, and people crap their hat when they hear that. Now the thing is, I have enough affiliates under me that that pays for my ClickFunnels, so I don't have to worry about it. It's it's a business expense. It's three hundred bucks a month, but I have enough affiliates that 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 I have affiliate money come in and it pays for my click funnel, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, friend or foe too. There's enough there's enough members in there that I'm, I've got. Actually, I think I have two people right now, so I don't have to. It's not even a big deal. 
Um, I, I don't. My the goal is to get enough money in there, or enough people using that thing where, a, it pays for itself, and b, it gives me extra money. Right. That's that's really kind of the goal. Um, so take advantage of it, and everybody immediately sees it. Oh my God, this is a monthly cost. Don't think of it as a monthly cost. Think of it as as yeah, this is what I need. To, this is one of the tools I use to run my business. And and what does that do? Yes, it costs money, but I have the ability to, to make up that money and then bring extra money in and actually make it a revenue stream. So think about it like that. Always think about how you can use those things to your advantage. Don't think about, oh, this is a monthly cost. These things, like there's many things that are monthly costs that I use to run my business, right? My monthly cost that goes out every month for, for monthly stuff to run my business is probably around 500 bucks or so. Um, however, my goal is always to have enough affiliates on those things that I don't have to worry about that. And that's where I'm at right now. Like my monthly, my monthly cost for my, to run my business is covered by my affiliates. So that's a wash, which is always what the goal is. Um, so, so definitely take advantage of things like that. Um, I know that um, <clears throat> the other one with the, with the comment one, that one, like I said, I know that they have an affiliate program too. And that's another one that is, that is absolutely awesome. Um, so, but uh, I will be going over that one as soon as I get it. But the links are in there. I'll drop them in the um, in the uh, the main description there as well. Um, so, anybody else have any have any questions? Anything else I can I can help you guys out with? Please let me know. Uh, I am I am here for you guys. So uh, <laughs> I absolutely I I have to say too, we have some really cool stuff coming up that is just gonna blow your guys' mind. Um, it is gonna be cool as hell and it's it's come up within the next couple weeks and i am just super 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 excited on on what we're going to be showing you guys so um i want to say that i really appreciate you all you guys you guys are awesome i appreciate the support that you guys have have shown us and i really helped but uh, i really hope that that you guys are finding value oh here we go okay cool i we getting some questions i see I, I wasn't seeing any comments but now i am all right give me a second here let me you guys, do these you guys comments are awesome i appreciate all right, uh, let's see, I, have, I would like to do a presentation on StreamYard and also show it on Facebook. How does that work? Uh, all right, Christina, there's actually a whole training on, on StreamYard. Just do a quick search. Let's do this real quick. Uh, I will do this one here. Okay, if you come into the group, just do a quick search on StreamYard. Stream, S-T-R-E-A-M, StreamYard. There we go. Um, there's a training that I actually did in here about it. Uh, where is it here? Yeah, I think this is it right here. Here it is. Okay, I'll put this link right in here. Uh, copy the address. All right, Priscilla, here you go. That is the link for that training in there. Uh, friend or foe? Yes, Michelle, it's called friend or foe. If you don't have it, I know you get a shit ton of friend requests. <laughs> Try, check out that link. I'm telling you, you will absolutely love it. Uh, might want to use friends or foe. Nothing with groups. Okay, yeah. Like I said, a lot of people don't use groups. I, I have a bunch of them that I have that I manage. This just really helps me out. Uh, I'm here, but driving. So hey, Gary. Hey, great time. Hey, yes. Hey, listen. Don't 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 text back. <laughs> Texting driving bad. <laughs> About the commission percentage. Um, friend or foe is forty percent. I think I think actually I take that back. I think it's thirty percent until you get ten people, and then they, then it goes the then it goes to forty percent. Um, so still, it's a decent. It's definitely a decent little. Um, it, it's it's a decent little decent little plugin. Uh, this is my question. Hang on, let's see. What's the commission? Genius. Yes. Oh man, look at all these comments, and I didn't see any of these things. I have to look a little back at the domain. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Awesome. It seems like I got everybody's questions. Um, like I said, if you guys have any more, just drop them in here. Uh, I will get back in and answer them a little bit later. Uh, but keep you guys Facebook lives. Trust me on that. It is a, um, for what we have coming up, it's going to be really cool. It's actually going to take the challenge to a completely different level. So, um, you guys are awesome. I totally appreciate you guys. And, um, I look forward to, to chatting with you guys soon. And, um, next week's going to be cool. So anyway. Take care, everybody. You guys have a fantastic day, and uh, bye, no meal. Take care. Bye.